you can pitch from one part to the next and you can achieve lights out machining. You come in on a Monday morning, four work pieces, five work pieces are ready. Today, I'm with Richard from Warwick Machine Tools to talk about OGM's latest investment. They have bought three machines that really do complement each other. So Richard, first off, what are we stood in front of? Okay, so first of all, we're stood in front of the Exitec HD30Z small hole drilling machine. This machine will give you a small hole EDM from 0.3 of a millimetre up to three millimetres in diameter. And what are the advantages of having a machine like this? Mainly uh, material. So if your billets come in pre-hardened, you can drill a hole from 0.3 millimetres up to three, straight through the hardened material, and you don't have to wait for normalised material to come back to you from heat treatment. And it literally off the machine, it's ready to use. And there's, there's some other features about this machine, isn't there, that some machinists would like to know. Yes. What are they? So drilling a small hole, um, you get deflection, hardened steels, drilling something fine, but also broken taps, for example, um, helping you get out of trouble as well. So they're not only used for start holes for wiring, they're also used for fine holes for different applications, but you can use this machine to get you out of jail. <laughs> and how easy is this machine to run for different materials? Okay, so different material wise, on the control, you have a materials button here, and that will set your technology and you can change the technology. We have various different technology sets and that changes the technology relative to the electrode diameter. And they're all stored within the control, making it very, very simple to set up. And this is all, and to move the bed, it's just manual hand wheels. Yeah, very simple, X and Y axis. The CNC, semi-CNC control in the Z axis takes care and it will allow for any back off, any um, servo control during the machining so the debris can get out of the hole. You can also drill blind on here, so you can set a depth and it will drill to that depth, allow for wear, there's a wear function on there, and simple setup features like your auto center find and your auto Z, so you don't need to worry about touching on the job before you start. That's great, and just one final question before we move on to the next machine. Can you get this in a CNC version? Yes, we do various CNC machines, exactly the same generator on the entry level, but yes, it will pitch across in X and Y, these machines also have tool changes for the electrode and also for the guides as well. So not only can you drill one size hole, CNC wise you can drill a varying for your application. So that's great. So we're going to move on now to the next machine, yeah. which is a... It's a V400G wire cut machine from Exitec. And this is essentially the next stage after the, it the is. hole spot. Yeah, so you drill your start holes primarily on the small hole drill and then you move the workpiece onto the, the wire cut machine holes are ready to go so you can utilize the automatic wire feed and start exactly where you need to date them on the job and what are some of the advantages to having a wire cutting machine okay so the wire cutting machine you can run lights out uh, you can set the workpiece up and not only that you can run more than one job so for example setting multiple datums across the table weekend running you can pitch from one part to the next and you can achieve lights out machining, you come in on a Monday morning, four work pieces, five work pieces are ready. And talking about lights out machining, now what happens if the wire breaks? Okay, so if the wire breaks, you have multiple options and you can set these via the control. If the wire breaks in a certain position due to debris or due to um, part movement, then it can either try and feed in the slot if it fails after several attempts and you can set those number of attempts. It could then go back to the start point and refeed trace back to position and continue cutting. So, and with the wire breaking, is there anything on this machine that can help with clearing the debris? Yes, so you've got upper and lower flushing and that's utilized by the control and set within the technology. So the debris is removed. And if there is a problem within the actual cutting scenario, then the servo and the machine generator take care of that via the technology settings. And this is, this is a great system. So what are some of the key features on the actual control? Okay, so within the manual setup page, we have varying edge fine center slit. Now, one of the things we like to show on the Exitec machine is our infographic. Very simple to follow. It has an outline of the process that you're carrying out, this being center finding and it gives you a few simple steps on how to utilize those. And on that, is there any other things on this control that you just want to point out? Okay, so one thing I like, and a lot of people do use on this machine, we have center mid piece. Now that allows you to pick three points around a cylindrical part, great for a mold and die company. So not, a, not all the time can you set a workpiece 
perfectly on the machine. So you can either A, rotate the axis, pick three points around an outside diameter, and it will calculate your center point automatically within the control, making setup just a, that bit easier. No, no clocking and no downtime. <laughs> oh, so how much time is that going to save? Very so true. That's a great. So if we move on to the, the final machine. Yes. Which now I'm not very familiar with these machines. So okay. this is where I'm going to rely on you a lot. So what, what is this machine? Okay, so this is the Etch-Tech Dysync machine. Okay, this is the ED400, our entry level machine. Um, the, for a Dysync machine, there are varying different styles of Dysync. Predominantly, a Dysync machine would just go down in the Z-axis. This is a full three-axis CNC machine. So not only can you get spark down in the Z, you can vector at angles, you can spherically interpolate, you can also use it to, to back spark and vector into certain positions. Again, perfect for the die and mold industry. See, there's a lot of things on this control that you actually sh have shown me earlier on. Yes. Which is so many different yeah, so programming options. There are, yeah. So within the strategy pages, we have varying different options. You can actually spherically interpolate, you can um, s square interpolate, but not only that, you can use conical, you can use sphere interpolation. One thing I like, if you have something a little bit out of the norm, e.g. a triangle, a star, you can set an angular interpolation so that the clarity at each specific point on that form is met and interpolated into perfectly, giving you you know, good control over the workpiece. And with you being able to move it, if you've got, say, well, we'll, we'll go down the star. Yep. If you've got a big, a big star you need to, to, to die, I think, you can actually go in with a little one and move to each point. Yes, you can, yeah. So you can undersize your electrode accordingly, or you can reduce, and you can actually position the angular movement. You can say, go to X amount of a diameter, and it will vector to those points and give you the clarity you need. And so essentially on this machine, you can do any shape you put your yes yeah your electrode in. so you can replicate your electrode not only that if you have for example a square electrode with round corners on you could orbit that to increase your radiuses on the corners it's all about utilizing the application and utilizing this control to get the achievement in the end <laughs> so OGM have really utilized their machine shop with these three machines if you think that's something that could help you contact the guys at Warwick Machine Tools